Hi there, my name is Bruce Johnson. I'm with F1 Americas and I'm here today to talk about our new two-line concept source kite made specifically for stand-up paddle boards. This kite is made for a 8 to 14 knot scenario blowing side onshore um, and wind that's going to be consistent throughout the course of the day. So if you're, you're a kiter or non-kiter, the, the source is going to fit into your quiver uh, during those days where you're sitting at the beach, it's blowing 8 knots, 10 knots, not quite enough wind to get out your 14 meter or 17 meter four-line kite and you're looking to get a little, little bit of water time. The source you can pull out an 11 or 13 or 17 meter depending on what the wind conditions are get out on your SUP and, and have a total blast. The source and SUP uh, combination is not necessarily just meant for one person on a board sailing away eight knots. Uh, you can also take your dog for a ride if you will. Nothing stopping you from putting the dog in the front of the board and, and for that matter even your non-kited kiting wife. Quite easy to get two people up on the board and cruise away and sail if you will. So unlike the uh, two-line kites uh, from 1999, the source is uh, three struts, really highly technical, lightweight, um, one-point inflation kite. Very, very stable in the air. Size-wise, these kites come and start with a 9 meter, which is made specifically for 8 to 18 knots, going to an 11 meter made for 8 to 16 knots, uh, 13 meter for 8 to 14 and a 17 meter uh, that'll get you through 8 to 12 knots. I'd just like to, to reiterate the, the fact that this, um, this kite is uh, not necessarily a replacement of your, of your four-line kite quiver. It really is an addition at the end of the day to fit into your quiver for those moments when it's just not kiteable and you still want to get in the water and have fun. I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, stand-up paddle boards um, that one should consider using for uh, or with the source. Um, uh, size range, uh, anything from a 9.2 to, to a 13 footer would work. Uh, could well be a tri-fin, quad-fin, single-fin. All depends on, on the wind conditions and how serious you are about going upwind. Obviously with a quad or a tri-fin you're going to have better traction, you're going to be able to keep an edge and go upwind a lot better. But having said that, uh, using your 9 foot longboard, your 8.5, whatever you have, longboard would work fine too. It takes a little time coming up on the board and figuring out how to get up gracefully, but with a little bit of practice you're able to get there, no problem. Kiters, a lot of kiters nowadays already have the stand-up paddle board and Having the stand-up paddle board put together with the source, it's blowing eight knots, the perfect combination to fill in that, that non-kiteable day. Um, besides that, if you're a stand-up paddle boarder, and not necessarily a kiter, but looking to take your stand-up paddle board out when it's a little breezy, the source could be a great, great combination. So here I have the source bar. Very, very straightforward. Two lines two connections and one safety leash. Two connections, hook it up, roll up your lines, no need to run your lines, spin the bar and you're ready to go. So when we go into full production with our new bars, the new source bars, it'll come with a safety release. Unlike what you're seeing right here, it will have a safety release. So the bar does ship with the third line to make relaunching a lot easier. So I'm just going to go over hooking up your source and, and show you the very simple bridle system. Basically has a crossover section. And like I was saying earlier on, two very simple connections to make. Just like uh, your regular kite, you've got red and green. Red to the left, green to the right. It's one connection. It's 
two connections and you're set, ready to go. At this point, if for any reason you weren't going to ride, you can roll your bar up, lines up, no reason to disconnect, and still be ready to go since it's a two line setup. So at the end of the day, when you're ready to wrap up, in order to make it a little faster when you're setting up your lines next time, there are little pockets on the leading edge where you can put your connections in. Slide it in, deflate your kite, it's ready to go. So the source does come with an optional third line for easier relaunch, it's optional. Uh, very simple bridle system that attaches to the leading edge and attaches to the third line. Just to give you a quick intro on launching your source, um, unlike your four line kite, you're gonna launch it unhooked. Um, other than that, every step of the way is very much like you'd launch your four line standard kite. So, getting up on, uh, on your surf while flying the source, I highly recommend unhooking to start the motion. Uh, point the board downwind, Keep the kite up at about 45 degrees or so. You're not powering it up, you're just steering the kite, keeping it very constant in the wind window, semi-powered, point the board downwind, come alongside the board, and the minute you feel a little bit of momentum between the kite flying and the board going into motion, you can either hop up side saddle, in other words, get your butt up on the board first, power up the kite a little bit, and then up to your knees, and eventually up standing up. So once up on the board, unlike uh, when we're flying our kites, we're pumping to keep things in motion. The source is, is very stable. I highly recommend leaving the kite alone. Literally let it do its thing. Let it drop down wind, if you will, and rather concentrate on steering the board with your feet and really trying to use the fins in order to get the board to steer up wind. Jibing with the source, once again, you're unhooked, bringing the kite up from 45 to 12 o'clock, and at the same time stepping to the back of the board, creating a nice little pivot zone, pivot around, follow the kite. As the kite comes around, the nose of the board is following the kite. As the kite sweeps around to the opposite direction, change your feet and you're off. Yeah, I just came in my first session on the F1 Source Kites. Uh, totally unexpected ride, super fun, made a uh, Light wind and difference. Uh, couldn't believe it, I was out there on almost uh, six knots of wind. Pretty much uh, took a little bit of time to figure it out, but once you have it, uh, it's pretty much a no-brainer. Just keep the kite at almost 12 o'clock and let the, let the board do the work. Just to wrap, uh, wrap up our little source moment in time here, um, you've got to keep in mind the source is all about fun. It's not going to replace your kite at all. Bring out your sup, bring out your source, and get creative. There's a ton of stuff you can do on that board and kite. Cheers.